Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee and doing a quick video on how to replace the front and rear brakes. So I'm gonna start out by jacking up the front end here. I'm gonna place my jack right underneath the frame here. And then you can kind of see there's a little arrow here. I'm gonna put my jack stand right under here where the uh, pinch weld is. So with the front end jacked up, let's go ahead and remove the two front wheels. You're gonna need a 22 millimeter for your lug nuts and then a lug nut key if you got one. So with the front end jacked up, I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the rear end here. I'm just gonna go right underneath the differential there. And then just like the fronts, go ahead and locate your arrow here and we'll place our jack stand right there. And of course, go ahead and remove both rear wheels. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood. Then go ahead and locate your brake fluid reservoir, which would be right here on the driver's side. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this cap off here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the front brakes. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is remove this anti-rattle clip here. So just take a large flathead screwdriver. We're going to go right against the rotor here. And you're going to pry that way. And then go ahead and just pull this out. Just like that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove these two rubber plugs here on the back side of the caliper. So you just take that same screwdriver and just pop these out of here. Just like that. And inside there you'll see a 10 millimeter Allen bolt. So go ahead and grab an Allen socket or you can grab an Allen wrench. It'll work just as good. Let's go ahead and pull that out of there. All right, so once you get those loose, you can just kind of easily pry that out just a little bit just to get it away from the bracket so you can pull the caliper off. Next, I'm just gonna unclip our uh, ABS line here. Let's just pull out here just to give a little more wiggle room here for the caliper. It'll just pop right out of there. Next, we can go ahead and uh, remove our caliper. I'm just gonna pry right here a little bit, just to kind of get that loose in there. And then go ahead and slide your caliper off. I'm just gonna set it on top of the rotor right now. And then next, we need to compress our pistons back into the caliper. Uh, you can do this, there's quite a few different ways. Um, you can use a tool such as this, which you stick in there and turn, and that presses it back in. Um, or you could have, before we removed it uh, from the caliper bracket, you can take a pry bar and stick it in on the back side here and pry it in that way. Or you can use a C-clamp, kind of like this, and then you'll just uh, use the old brake pad here. Get on the back side of the pistons there, and then you'll just start turning. Slowly compressing the pistons in there. And you want to compress these in all the way until it stops. So about right there, and then you go ahead and take this C-clip off, your C-clamp. And then you go ahead and just pry right here, pop your old pad out, and you 
can see how rusted that one was. So it's a good thing we're replacing them. And then you go ahead and uh, get your caliper out of the way. I'm just gonna use a bungee. Going around the upper control arm here. And just kinda, wherever you can get it through. Just kinda hang that out of the way there. Just don't wanna put any stress on the brake lines there. And then after you compress that, go ahead and check your level on your uh, master cylinder here. You can see it raised just a little bit above the max. Um, you don't want this to come uh, pouring out of here and getting all over everything else. So if it gets to the point where you push in all four of your pistons and you're just about to overflow, go ahead and take a turkey baster and you can get some of that fluid out of there. And then you go ahead and remove the other pad. So next we're going to move the caliper bracket. And you got two bolts here. And those are going to be a Torx E20, looks like that. If you don't have that, you can use a 16 millimeter 12 point wrench, works just as good. So let's go ahead and take those off. Pull your bracket off. So with that caliper bracket off, let's go ahead and remove the rotor. But before you pull it off, there's a little rubber O-ring right here. So I'm just gonna take a little pick here, see if we can get up underneath it here. And then just go ahead and pull that. And then you should be able to remove the rotor. But as you can see, this one's rusted on there pretty good. So I'm just gonna take a little soft mallet and hit on it because I'm gonna try to get these rotors turned if I can. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, passenger front one now really quick. I'm not gonna record that and then I'll Take these uh, rotors, see if I can get them turned at my local O'Reilly Auto Parts here in town. So I finally got the rotors back from O'Reilly's for the fronts. And as you can see, got them turned. They really look good. And then like I said before, I like to uh, put new rotors or uh, get the rotors turned before putting new pads on because you never know, they could be warped and then you'll just run into problems later on down the road. But uh, I went ahead and took a wire wheel to this, and now I got a brush, I'm gonna try to get some of this rust out of here. Then I'll go ahead and take the rotor, and I'll spray the backside here. Let's go ahead and stick that on there. Go ahead and take your O-ring. Let's go ahead and put that back around there. And then you can take your screwdriver, just double check, make sure that's in there good. And then I'll go ahead and spray it again. Next, we'll go ahead and get our caliper bracket back on here. Next, we'll go ahead and get our caliper bracket on here. Then go ahead and grab your E20 Torx and let's tighten those up. Then go ahead and uh, disconnect your caliper here. And 
and just set it on top of your rotor here and pull out your slide pins here just go ahead and push them out and those pull out just like that and then i'll take some of the uh, ultra brake parts lubricant and go ahead and uh coat these slide pins here Then you go ahead and stick it back through here. You move it back and forth a few times here. You can even put a little more on here. Same thing. Next, we'll go ahead and grab our pads uh, for the fronts here. Go with the Power Stop Evolution Plus, and it's going to be part number 17-1455. Got these off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for these. And so I'll go ahead and take pad that's going to go here, and uh, this disc brake lubricant. You can also use on the back here to keep the uh, pads quiet. Let's use a little bit of this. And then we'll go ahead and slide this in here. Just like that. And then I'll do the same for the other one here. And then go ahead and uh, we can snap this into the caliper pistons there. Just make sure you don't get any of that lubricant on here. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and put our caliper on. Let's go ahead and bring this down. Let me grab your 10 millimeter Allen socket here and let's go ahead and start tightening these. Then go ahead and grab your new clips here that came with the pads. And uh, again, these tabs are going to go right here and then right here. So what you need to do is we need to press this that way and get these locked into these holes here. So just press. And just like that. And then go ahead and attach your... ABS line if you took these out or not. I probably didn't have to. And just push back in there. And then I just like to spray it one more time. so that's all there is to it um i'm gonna go ahead and before i put the tires and all that back on i'm gonna go ahead and bleed the whole system put some new uh fresh brake fluid in there for them um, i'm not gonna record that because i'm gonna use my mighty vac and all that all right so for the rears it's pretty similar to the fronts 
ahead and take your screwdriver, pop out this rattle clip here. And then same thing, you'll have your uh, covers here for your caliper bolts. Go ahead and pop those out. And then unlike the fronts, uh, which were a 10 millimeter for the caliper bolts, these ones on the rear are gonna be a seven millimeter. And then for the bottom one, you'll have to use an Allen wrench because you can't get a socket in here. So let's go ahead and pull those real quick. And again, once you get those loose, you can just take a screwdriver, pry those away from the caliper bracket. Then go ahead and pull your caliper. And we'll go ahead and compress the piston back in. This time I'll be using this little tool. Next we'll go ahead and compress the piston back into the caliper, but this time I'll show you. I'll use this little tool here. And I'll put a link in the description from one off Amazon. Uh, works pretty good. So you just get this bracket behind here and then use your old pad and then you just start turning this. And you can see that piston start to go inside the caliper there. go till it stops and go ahead and pull this tool out of here and then pop your old pad out of there and we'll just set that on top next we'll go ahead and remove the caliper bracket you got two 18 millimeter bolts you need to remove Next, we'll remove the rotor, just like the fronts. Got this little O-ring. Go ahead and take your pick and remove that. And remove your rotor. And of course, this one's rusted on there. that and then you can also check your parking brake shoes which these ones look to be okay so I'll get some brake cleaner and uh, we'll spray those down as well and then like I said you can see um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these rotors uh, turned not sure if they'll be able to uh, but hopefully they will once you get that cleaned up as good as you can I'm gonna grab some brake cleaner clean off the uh, parking brake shoes and all that So I got my uh, rotor back from uh, O'Reilly's. Had uh, all four of the rotors turned. So it looks a lot better. Um, like I said, if you're gonna put new pads on, I prefer to have the rotors turned or uh, go ahead and buy a new set. Cause you never know, those old ones could be uh, warped and you not know it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just spray this off. Same with the back side here. Now go ahead and stick that on. Once you get that on, go ahead and grab your O-ring and let's go ahead and Put that back in place here. If 
you need to, you can use your flathead. Just make sure that's in place. Should be good there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give it another spray here. Now let's go ahead and get our caliper bracket on here. Grab your two 18 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and grab our new brake pads. I went with the uh, Power Stop Evolution Plus. Got these off Amazon. For the rears, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for these. So Power Stop 17-1498. And these are ceramic. Comes with the hardware. So you got your two pads. And then it also comes with the anti-rattle clip here. So what I'm gonna do first is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab my caliper here. I'm gonna grab these slide pins. So go ahead and pull these out. Just push on them and they pull right out. And then I got some of this ultra brake parts lubricant. I'm gonna go ahead and spread on these pins. Just go ahead and brush some of this stuff on there. And then you can go ahead and stick these back through. And you can just kind of work them back and forth a little bit. And then what's nice about this brake lube is you can also put it on the back of the pad to help with noise. So I'm going to brush just a little bit on the back of the pad here. And then go ahead and uh, snap this into your caliper here. And just make sure you don't get any of that lube on the pad there. And then I'll do the same for this one. Just put a little bit on here. You don't need to put much. Then I'm gonna go ahead and insert this into the caliper bracket there. Just like that. Then go ahead and take your caliper and let's go ahead and stick this on here. And then go ahead and tighten your caliper pins here. Again, you gotta use an Allen wrench for the bottom one here. And then I almost forgot uh, these little plastic caps. Go ahead and uh, get those back in there. And then go out, then go ahead and grab your new anti-rattle clip. It's gonna go like this. And then uh, these end tabs, these are gonna go on the outside right here. So what you wanna do is get it kinda like that and then you're gonna push that way and get these to snap in them little holes there. Just like that. Give it just one more good spray down.
All right, guys, so I went ahead and bled all four brakes and put some fresh uh, brake fluid in the master cylinder last night. So now we should be ready to go ahead and throw all four tires back on. Then go ahead and grab your torque wrench. We're going to torque all the lug nuts to 130 foot pounds. All right, guys, so according to uh, Power Stop, they put this on the box here. And to break these uh, pads in, they're saying that you need to perform 30 decelerations from 30 miles an hour to 5 miles per hour leaving uh, 30 seconds in between brake applications for cooling. Uh, so that seems like a lot, but we'll go ahead and do it. So what you wanna do is try to find a road that's uh, not too busy. And then like I said, so I'll go ahead and uh, accelerate to 30 miles an hour, and then I'll apply the brakes down to five miles an hour, and then I'll kind of coast. Let those cool for 30 seconds and then i'll repeat this process for uh 29 more times if i can so again go ahead and get up to 30. once you get up to 30 Apply the brakes down to five. And then I'll go ahead and uh, repeat the same thing, 30 seconds. this process for uh, 28 more times all right so that's going to do it for the video again this was a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee went ahead and replaced the front and rear brake pads along with getting the rotors turned and uh, hopefully this video helps you out save you some money do it yourself and uh, if you haven't already subscribe to my channel check out my other videos I'm actually doing quite a few on this Jeep alone so check those out once they're uploaded and uh, I'll see you next time Thanks for watching.